Like the video. Or the badger gets it. (laughs) (laughs) The following podcast contains some strong language and some very average opinions. Any references to actual people are wildly inaccurate. It's probably best if you don't listen at all. The Roaring Peacock Podcast. Welcome back to the Roaring Peacock Podcast of the Match Review. Um, not sure this game actually happened, but we'll just pretend that it did. Oh, it, was... it did. It certainly <laughs> it did, happened. It, it certainly it wasn't happened. a bad dream? No, it de- definitely wasn't a bad dream. No, definitely just watched that. Yep. Leeds nil, Burnley won. <laughs> uh, that's difficult to say. My name's Adonis. Um, it's a very good hello from me. And joining us to uh, dissect this dead frog is uh, our man on the post, Ross. Fuck off, Leeds. How are you? <laughs> and our friendly canvas seller, Alex. Fuck off, Burnley, apparently. Because <laughs> that's who we were playing. <laughs> I wish we were. We were playing Burnley? No, I Brighton. don't know. Fucking hell. We were playing Blue. Yes, I don't know. Brighton. Some fucking shit team that we shouldn't have lost to. No. Why did we lose that? Why did we lose that? <clears throat> I don't know. Have the players been furloughed that we don't know about and they're left for free? <laughs> The midfield certainly had. It was it was Agincourt all over again, <laughs> except we were the French, <laughs> and somebody had somebody had put a um, uh, fucking chastity belts on us or something, you know, <laughs> locked us in chastity belts. So that's why we can't run, and we were sinking deep into the pitch. Okay, as analogies are getting worse and worse every game. Yeah. Welcome that to your just... chastity belt. <laughs> In fact, speaking right. of chastity belts, this is well, well, totally off off track. But I read that there was a chastity belt that was internet enabled, and that somebody hacked into it and sent a message to the guy and said, "Your cock is now mine," <laughs> <laughs> which is a big argument against the internet of things. But yeah, regardless, yeah, that's worrying. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna shock you by actually being quite um, positive about this game. Yeah, you've annoyed me now. What's that? One chat of the with your only people. In the in the, in the fan base, who's who's positive? Because I think after the first twenty five minutes where we were terrible, after that we weren't so bad. <laughs> we were bad, but we weren't as bad as we'd been in the first twenty five minutes. It's like saying I after also the Titanic the... hit the iceberg, it was so bad. <laughs> For the preceding... Exactly. You didn't. We didn't hit any more icebergs. No, there's no other icebergs hit, and you know people went for a swim. And that's it. But. Yeah, and and Leo died. You know, he, he, that was, you know, it was enjoyable. You got to hear a bit of music as the um, as the ship went down. After the first two planes hit the World Trade Center, no other planes <laughs> hit it, so it was demonstrably better after that. The rest of the afternoon was fine. And then, best of all, the film ends, and you never have to watch it again. Oh, no, that, no, that was terrible from start to finish. We were terrible. Yeah. We we tested their keeper once, maybe, with a Roberts turning shot, which was never going to go in. We tested our own keeper with a COVID test and came back <laughs> positive. Mm. Yeah. I mean, at least Kiko didn't cost us. That's, that's a plus he nearly point for fucking him. did. The, he nearly simple, did. <laughs> the simple shot that he stopped out. Oh, he's done. Oh, how has that slipped out from his shoulder and gone towards the goal line? Did you see his face on the slow mo replays? He's like, oh, fucking hell, not again, please, not again. <laughs> if I was in a better mood, I would have paused it and taken a photo to set the pitch, but <laughs> he could not be asked. I thought he was going to throw it into into the net. Yeah, I no. thought I thought that was. that. I mean, he's capable of it. Oh, yeah. He's definitely he's got, got the ability. Locker. He's been working on his catching from corners, and it's all the time he's not been playing proper football. He's been, he did all right at that, but <sighs> he punched one. That was good. Yeah, I think that gave him confidence. Oh god! If that's the best we can come up with for a positive in that game, yeah. our racist goalkeeper like, is good. <laughs> this is like CSI here. We're scraping the bucket, <laughs> and there's some kind of montage, you know. The the thing that gets me is the passing. Our passing is has seemingly gone to shit, and we can't blame the pitch because I've, I've raised the point on Twitter that yeah, the pitch is terrible. It's probably going to stop us playing like how we want to play. But then I immediately realised that Brighton play how we want to play, yeah. and they were doing absolutely fine on the fucking ploughed field that we call Ellen Road now. So it can't be that. But Struick, our stroke, 
is the the biggest culprit for it. His passing is shit. Yeah. It's either over hit, under hit, it's behind the player, and then the player that's receiving the pass has got loads of work to do to make anything uh, productive from it. Yeah. So frustrating to watch. But then everybody else is degrees underneath that same level of shitness. There was nobody who covered themselves in glory today. No, if Pablo's coming on and can't make five yard passes down the wing, yeah. then we're, we're fucked completely. No one can do it if he can't do it. That, that that game reminded me of the Chelsea game, where Chelsea sat in a in a medium block, um, and let us try and come on to them. I just don't get what and, we're doing. We, we're and, putting balls into the box with eight Brighton defenders and Bamford. What? Yeah. He's never going to win that. And if he does, what's the best that's going to happen? He's not going to go on target, is it? It's going to go up in the air, and one of their seven foot. Giants is just going to clear it again. So and and people again in the Chelsea like in the Chelsea game, people weren't coming towards the ball carrier, mm. and they were just like moving further up pitch and further away. So that's why we were trying these long balls that that weren't working at all. And um, and I thought that's what Roberts did really well yeah. when he came on. He 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 was he was moving towards the ball carriers. He was coming back and trying to collect the ball and pick it up and move. Move the play on. He did well um, at that. Pablo did that as well, but as you say, he's a bit out of touch. And and yeah, if if he can't play short passes, then then we're fucked, as you say. But he was he was tr- at least he was trying. Uh, he has this still still Pablo. He still has this vision, and he was still trying to make things happen. So I swear, Click was drunk. Mm. <laughs> it's the only explanation for that performance from him because he didn't start trying until the seventh eightieth minute. No. Like his hangover slightly just regressed a little bit and he thought, all right, I'm playing football there. I better try something. Because he just couldn't get anything going in the first half, especially. I've got another positive for you. <laughs> oh, there we go. your positives. <laughs> <laughs> when Brighton played scum, they hit the post five times. Just they once. They didn't pass. look like they were going to score a second goal. The only way that they were going to score a second goal is if Kiko had a fucking brain schism and <laughs> put it into put it into his own goal yeah. they were they were not looking threatening at all no they weren't they had a lot of possession on the edge of the box didn't really do anything with it but I knew Mopé had scored because he always does mm. horrible little striker but he should have also been booked as off for that dive because that was absolutely fucking ridiculous yeah definitely dive anything touches him the slightest little touch on his shoulder and he just throws himself to the ground was it a penalty well Harrison that, I'd oh, say Harrison. so I, I think I'm biased because I wanted us to get a penalty. We'd have missed it. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. you know, it would have been nice to have a chance and a shot on target. Um, but to me, that looked like a pen. Even on the replays, I didn't see anything that made me think it wasn't a pen. Yeah, it was nice. He hasn't touched the ball, has he? No. Has he touched the ball? No, he just pushed he's... Harrison to the ground, basically. Yeah, he's taken the he's completely taken the man out, got nowhere near the ball. Um, Kevin, not our friend... <laughs> Good one. Waves it away. And then, I don't know, again, what VAR doing. The, oh, did something happen in the game? I kind of don't blame them. They were probably falling asleep like some fucking dullard security guards at, at 3 a.m. Pro- having a fag having a fag in the doorway or whatever. <laughs> yeah. You got any more of that coffee and falling asleep watching this shit? <laughs> was there? Was there a penalty, Jeff? Was there? <laughs> was there? I didn't see Jeff. Ray must have got in my eyes. No, I'm sure you're doing a good job, Kevin. Keep going. <laughs> if you saw it, we'll trust you. Thanks, VAR. Have you been watching? I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> the defence have to take the blame for that goal because the three of them just stood and watched the ball. I think Bill's got to take the most um, blame for it because I don't. He's frozen, wasn't he? Uh, who, what man is he picking up at that point? What he's just like. Yeah, oh. I'm just marking the penalty spot. Yeah, it wasn't good. But then Brighton played some nice one-touch football. And we we just seemingly couldn't do that at all in that game. I don't understand it. This team thrashed West Brom 5-0 two weeks ago, two and a half weeks ago. Yeah, Where's that team gone? And now it's been 288 minutes since we've scored. Fucking hell. Jesus. <laughs> oh, great. I feel fantastic. Is that another one of your positives? Oh. <laughs> oh. It's very schizophrenic, though, isn't it? I mean, the whole season has been. In fact, this has been one of the strangest seasons I've seen for a long time. Not just for us, but for a lot of teams. The results have been all over the place, haven't they? Yeah, look at West Brom today. You can't predict them at all. Like 
Liverpool losing 7-2 to Villa. I mean, that's an obvious one, but there have been loads, loads of results like that. Yeah. Absolutely no consistency. You can hardly predict anything anymore. But Except that... that if Brighton haven't won a game in nine and have never won a game in January <laughs> and have never won a game at Ellen Road in the top flight, oh, yeah. then you can bet that they're going to do it today. We're like a child safe version of Jim will fix it. <laughs> if you've not won in ja- January, we will make sure that you win in January. Yeah. We've got Newcastle next. We're going to keep Steve Bruce in the job, aren't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Leeds have fixed it for Bruce. <laughs> Leeds. Leeds have fixed it for Bruce <laughs> again. Just reading the Graham, Graham Potter's comments after the game. He's taking the piss. Potter says it was a heavy pitch with long grass, but they were used to it after having played at Newport. Like, fuck off. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> He's not, he's not it's wrong. Not wrong it? it looks it's not fucking wrong, no. terrible. Newport would be luxury. They were <laughs> fucking dreaming of Newport. And But the thing is, he looks like a fucking regen from Football Manager. He looks like you've just gone default, 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 and that yeah. comes out, his face comes out. <laughs> he looks like Luciano Becchio's playing father. <laughs> mm. Fuck off, Potter. And he's got such a fucking shit name as well. Generic yeah. face, generic name. It's like Graham Potter. Mm. Graham. Yeah, he he'd be telling you to get a proper job. Yeah. And that football's <laughs> not a career. Yeah. <laughs> Come here, Luciano. I know you cost less than Berbatov. <laughs> Listen, you've got to have a, a B a plan B, Luciano. It's just not in a career, case though, you don't it? make it. It's not a career, is it, Luchi? Look, come come and work in the industry of salt mining and talking about pitches like it's like new part. It's, <laughs> it's got so much more. I just watched their goal back. Stuart Dallas, when the ball gets played into the box, is playing left back along with Alioski. Mm. And where's Malpe at left back? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <sighs> We were asleep. I mean, that was a classic example of just being asleep really early on in the game. And they had their one bit of magic that, don't get me wrong, they had other nice passing sequences, but that was the one bit of real magic in the final third, in in their final third. And it just happened to be when we were half asleep at the start of the game. And then there there was no way back after that. Because for whatever reason, they just played this medium low block. They've got about 15 giants in the box every time we try and cross it in. Yeah. <sighs> they got so many central defenders that Ben White played defensive midfield today and did a job on Rodrigo, who was anonymous again. How has he not scored that uh, opportunity in the first half? I, I don't know. Beckford said at half time, if you're in that position, you throw yourself at the ball. And that he scored 10 or so of those goals in his career where you just put something on it to get it into the net. There was a cross in from Alioski. Rodrigo missed it. Hmm. Is that the one you're talking yeah. about? Yeah. It's really he good have, cross. He should have thrown everything at it. Yeah. As long as something yeah. hits it that you can score a goal with and not a hand. Yeah. It's a goal. It's yeah. two yards Ru- from the line. Just something would have put that across the line. Roof scores that, doesn't he? Yeah. Yeah. With his hand. But that's a different <laughs> scenario altogether. <laughs> Roof is similar to Ian Wright, is similar to Eddie and Ketia. They've got that little bit of needle about them, don't they? They've got that hunger. Like, I've never been handed anything in my life before, and so I have to fucking take it. Um, yeah. The Bamford chance in the first half, and all straight across the box, just as an air shot with his left foot. And then Rob Green tries to dig him out. Can't... But, say, no, that was his weaker foot. He isn't. That's his stronger foot. He still fucking missed the ball completely. That's his job, isn't it? <laughs> Hitting football <laughs> with his foot. Is it? Yeah. And his head, his whiffed header in the second half. How does he how does he fuck that up? With the floodlights in his eyes again. Yeah. The brand new floodlights. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> like a postman fucking missing the letterbox. <laughs> oh that that oh, happens fuck. all the time. That happens all the time in, in my area. <laughs> oh well. It's another letter I've missed. <laughs> His conversion rate is in the 50%. <laughs> Thing is, when it's a postman that plays for a team like fucking Histon, they always deliver against us. So, <laughs> so have we got an, an actual debate on here? 
have we got something that we don't that we disagree with? Um, because I was very impressed with Jack Harrison, who incidentally made his one hundredth start for Leeds. Um, I th- I thought he played well. I thought he had some energy about him. He didn't really give the ball away. He was putting crosses into great areas, which me as a as a striker looking at that cross coming in, I'm fucking getting on the end of that. Let me tell you that in swinging one, he cut inside and and swung it, swung it in. Yeah. Fucking hell, you get a touch on that and the keeper's no got no chance. Yeah. I think he did all right. He had some really good uh, ball retention. I think there were a couple of times where he used really good feet to get out of a bad situation. I mean, Roberts looked fine when he came on. He, uh, apart from in the final third, though, he looked fine in the middle of the field running with the ball. But it was twice in a space of about five minutes, he had the ball on the edge of the box and he just stood the ball up to the back post for one of their massive giants to just head it away. Just have a fucking shot. What's the worst that can happen? It goes in. Was None it- of them wanted to shoot. Was it my imagination or did he get in the way of Ailing having a shot? Well, the three of them that just converged together on his box. <laughs> That's the shittest cover of Oasis I've ever heard. Was it my imagination? Oh, well, four people queuing up to describe the same ball at the same time. And I got told off of that on Twitter because I said, shout mine. It's, it's not so hard. It's like, actually, that would be an indirect free kick. Free kick. Which I didn't know. I didn't know that. So thank you for educating me. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, apparently if you shout mine, even if your name is Bobby Mine, it can still be an indirect free Yeah, kick. got to put a proper name on it, apparently. But so Jeff has one of you. And Bobby leave it. <laughs> right, yo, then. <laughs> man of the match. Uh, man of the match. I genuinely it's can't pick one. It? It's like, <laughs> I don't know. Picking the most well-behaved criminal at Armley Jail. <laughs> they're all I shit. I genuinely couldn't pick a man of the match in there. I thought they are all absolutely shit. There's not enough grenades in Bielsa's pockets, basically. Mm. So, Do you think this tactic of, so as I understand it, when we win a game, he's very aggressive mm. with them. He's, he's very strict with them. And when we lose, he's very um, sympathetic. And as I understand it, after the, that Forest game that somebody was talking about, where Ailing came out and did that interview and being on such a bad run, he did this spirited speech. Do you think it's it's time for that? Do you think it's time for that side of Bielsa? Yeah, it's, it's time for Bielsa to sit there and go, one minute to undress. <laughs> and just undresses and it's like bondage gear. He's like, you first, Patrick. <laughs> yeah, something like that. Oh, my mind's gone into a really weird place. He needs to be throwing cups of tea at people. He needs to be kicking boots at people. Just fucking do something because they look useless today. Absolutely useless. We would have lost to every team in the Premier League today. So Bielsa in a gimp outfit <laughs> is is your suggestion for the cover of, of this match <laughs> review. No, can, I, can I do better than that? Let me think. Okay. Um, no, what it needs to be is the app for this needs to be, you know, the trunk shot from all um, um, Tarantino films. Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah. it's Bamford like tied up in the trunk and it's just Arter and Bielsa looking into, <laughs> into the <laughs> trunk of the car. They're just kidnap people and that's all they're doing now. This is how they're going to solve the player crisis. Just scare them to death. Or a gimp suit, by the way. Bring out the gimp. They weren't even but that good. That's the other thing. I've had, they, they were shit and they, they've beaten us because we were shitter. That's We played worry. better when we got beat 6-2 by scum. That's what really annoys me. It's like I can watch a 6 2 defeat of our team and go, you know what? We give it a good go. Yeah. Today, we lost 1 0 and we didn't even, it didn't even motivate us when we conceded the goal. It was just like, nah, all right, let's go back yeah. to halfway and kick off again. <laughs> Fucking shit. See, I think we played better than them, but I also think that we didn't deserve to win or get anything. I thought we might have, I thought we should have had a penalty. I thought there was. One time where we should have had a free kick right on the edge of the box where Alioski was pushed over. But probably he's seen Alioski diving yeah. a lot and just thought, nah. I think I would have been more annoyed if we'd actually got a draw because we didn't deserve it. And they would have kind of got off the hook a little bit if they got a, a draw from that. This might mm. at least kind of do something, kick them into gear a little bit. I hope. Okay. Fingers crossed. You <laughs> thought Crawley had done that though, wouldn't you really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. I I I kind of I kind of knew that we were going to lose today. Um but I was hoping it was going to be Kiko that was completely to blame <laughs> and that that would be the thing that would push it over the edge yeah, and and, and could actually them go. just go okay we 
just got to get him out and get a different keeper. I'll fame, you know, I'll I'll fairness to the big racist that we play in at some time. <laughs> he didn't do anything wrong football in no. yesterday. Apart from he didn't have anything to do. No. no, he didn't have anything to do. He didn't. He didn't flap at um, some of the crosses, but it's not like he had loads of shots to to defend. No. <laughs> Is it as simple as one? There was one save that I can remember, and that and he nearly put it into yeah, his he nearly threw it over the line. <laughs> <laughs> that would cheer me up if anything, if that had happened, because he would have been bombed out hopefully after that. But no, <laughs> that would have made it would have made me laugh, and it, and it would have made me sigh, and it would have gone, oh god, well it's just one of those days. Yeah, but yeah, Bamford's not scored since the Burnley game. That's a worry, isn't it? Jesus, four games ago. Well, this is a bit fucking depressing, boys. <laughs> Normally, it cheers me up. These. Po- <laughs> Come down. I feel better. Like, that just feel. That just made me feel better. There I you feel. go. <laughs> Come on. We're all shit. We're fucking shit. We're not gonna play a game again. I'm gonna go <laughs> and support Geisley Town. No, it's uh, it's. Leads ri- are falling apart. Again. This is this isn't going to be positive, and it's not going to bring us up in any way. But mm. I found myself being more and more disconnected from the game, even when we've been winning, because being away from football for this long now, I feel massively disconnected. We talked about it on in the Phil Hay podcast, um, but when we lose like that, it doesn't affect me like it would do if we'd be going to games. It's just like oh, <laughs> we're lost again. We're fucking shit. <laughs> Ain't it funny, lads? And yeah, it's I feeling like it's it's further and further away from a, a supporter's sport than it is now. Just I don't know. It feels I feel massively disconnected from it. It's TV companies were dream this one. Yeah, let's put all these games on TV. Yeah. No fans to it. Yeah, make any noise. I don't think we would have lost that game with a crowd because that's not the kind of game we lose. The kind of game we lose with a crowd is when. Where we're, we're trying, and trying and trying and trying, and it hits the post like that Arsenal game, for example. It hits the post and the crossbar, and the and the and the crowd start to get turn the other way and get on the players' backs a bit, yeah. and then they go up the other end with their one shot on target and score. Yeah, that's the kind of game we lose. But but like that Norwich game where we're three 0 down, I think, and w- and there was just a roar, just like come on, yeah. you know, get something out of it. Yeah, or or the Blackburn the Blackburn game. Where we came back from, what was it? A two one, two one, two one down, one, yeah. one three two. Ninetieth minute. So that's the. They kind of felt like, I think they were running through this sludge, the mud, um, and the bog that is Ellen Road, <laughs> and and I think if the crowd had been there, they would have, they would have driven them on. They would have picked up some energy. Yeah, no, I agree with that. I think there would have been a bit more. Uh, encouragement coming from the crowd, let's say. Yeah. Thank fuck Ben White didn't score that goal as well. Oh, yeah, when he's running, I'm like, don't do this to us, Ben. Yeah. Don't, no, don't end like this, not like this. He's praying for someone to hack him down so he doesn't smash it into the net. So we could just see it coming, but thankfully someone's in the way. Rodrigo, um, he didn't look on it no. for me today, and he hasn't looked the same since he got COVID. Is it time to have a, a go with... A, uh, starting Pablo, maybe. Uh, well, I don't know. Is Pablo fit enough? He didn't really come on and look like he were had fresh legs today, did he? He looked like he were at the same sort of level of uh, fatigue as the rest of the team that played 90. So mm. I don't think we've got an, much of an option in that area, to be quite honest. Um, we need some signings. These kids, like it's, it's fine bringing on Pervader and Roberts if you're winning, but if when you're chasing the game, they're not guys that are going to change it for you. Pervader's great for a bit of excitement, but he hasn't actually done anything. On the pitch no. as a Leeds player. If the answer win. is Tyler Roberts, I don't think the question has been understood correctly, to be quite honest. Mm. And I'd, to be fair, he was he all did, right when he came on. He, he played probably better, was positive. Didn't he? Yeah. 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 But he he's, did play better. the game for us, has he? That's the, that's the issue. Probably not. <laughs> well, this has been your fucking uh, hilarious podcast. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope, it, I, I hope you're walking around listening to this podcast and cheering yourself up. You've got a smile on your face. You're walking around town. You go, oh, God, listening to this has cheered me right up. Thanks, Record YouTube Peacock. numbers, this one, just you watch. <laughs> well, if you're listening to this, it's really not as bad as it seemed. It's only a game. It's yeah. only yeah. football. 
We will come back and we will win games and we're safe in this league. And the next season we'll have a new pitch and it will be like a bowling green. And then Bielsa will leave. <laughs> Steve I hope Evans enjoy will that. return. And we'll Steve Evans along, will return. So. <laughs> we still won't get any penalties. And Dave Diagaraga will be our midfield general in the Premier League. And if anyone hasn't ever won a game, we'll be very, in a certain month or whatever it is, we'll be very, very generous to them. Oh, no, sir. After you. <laughs> Give them the goal. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Give that goal. Yeah. Ten points from the bottom three. Eighteen points from the bottom. Bottom. We're fine. That's all right. Are that's we? okay. Brighton are a good team. I, that's that's the one caveat I would say to that's all their of third this. Third win of the season. It wasn't. It wasn't great. It was not great. But a Brighton should be a lot higher than when than where they are. Mm. <laughs> According to expected goal difference yeah. and the way that they play. <laughs> Don't hurt me, Alex. Don't hurt me. I said the I said the words. <laughs> Press the button. <laughs> Clacton, Clacton. <laughs> expected goals, Clacton. <laughs> so Bielsa's had it, hasn't he? It's over. It's over for BLC. He's, he's done great things for us, but now it's hashtag Bielsa out, isn't hashtag it? Hashtag Bielsa out. Get Eddie Gray in, play the kids. Yeah, I'm, yes. I'm on the phone to talk to right. right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what accent are you going to use? Just my own one. I don't sound like a Leeds fan, so I'll get over it. <laughs> I think we should play the kids. It's Bielsa <laughs> out time. <laughs> I've been I've lived in Leeds all my life. <laughs> We've already missed out on Big Sam. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> God. I'm friends with Big Sam on Facebook, by the way. You are, yeah. Mm, yeah. I saw that. Leeds, I, I've, liked, I've, I've liked Sam for a lot of times. I message him every week. You sort out his grammar. I've added him, but he, he didn't accept. Uh, he must know. He must know something. You know, it's, he only accepts people who know the football, you know. <laughs> yeah. He, he has put a post up on there, you know, asking for young players to DM him. Yes. So it's mm. either it's Sam Allardyce or it might be a nonce. <laughs> <laughs> are the two mutually exclusive? I, I allegedly so. I, I don't like to say. Just in case. <laughs> well, what, what's question. that code that Square Ball have got for Levi? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> We're just posing suit. questions here. <laughs> We're just asking questions. It's like yeah. um, Infowars, yeah. but for football. Yeah. yeah. Could he be an answer? Answer in the comments below. Uh, it's cheered me up anyway thanks Lance right let's do a I'm poll glad. is Sam Allardyce a nonce <laughs> do polls on YouTube Johnny stick that up on the screen <laughs> that's definitely going to get a suspension isn't it that's a suspension straight up <laughs> your account has been suspended for seven days should you wish to dispute <laughs> for the following section in your video the bit where you called Sam Allardyce a respected football manager yeah a sex offender. <laughs> you just get muted. That's all it'll do. It'll just be two minutes of mute. What's this email from some lawyers? <laughs> that. Oh, don't, don't. Oh, Jesus. Radio then. Um, so, that's it. Final thoughts? There you go. Fucking I've awful. had enough, by the way. I've had enough of this. I'm sorry if you wanted to talk more about it. I've got a, I've got a steak in there, some fucking mashed potatoes. And a it's not ready. Wine. It's not ready at all. But I'm waiting for it. Cool. I'm going to help. I'm going to facilitate it happening. Let's final, wrap it up. Final thoughts are, I'm glad that we're not playing Southampton when we're supposed to. Oh, God, mm. they killed us. Yeah. That's Newcastle it. next. Yeah. On to Newcastle. Ing, Ings, Ings would have uh, would have formed a, a, a formidable strike partnership with Kiko Casilla. <laughs> <laughs> they would have been taking it in turns to smash it into our goal. <laughs> Oh God! Please get better, Ilian. Please get better quickly. Ings is like I've never played with such an unbelievable strike partner in my life. I can't believe it. <laughs> the assists this guy's laying on for me. He seems to find me wherever I'm on the pitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a sixth sense. It's telepathic, <sighs> and it's only the first game we've played together. <laughs> he just seems really reluctant to celebrate with me. I don't know if it's COVID or <laughs> seems angry. Right, yo, then. Still not safe. Nope. Onwards to 40 points. Yep. We'll not score another point now. <laughs> mm. 
if you've enjoyed this, uh, if you if you, if you're new to Leeds United, if you've just picked them as your as your plastic team, and you, you've enjoyed this, and you want to hear more about how we can uh, lose tragically, <laughs> playing the worst football. Just watch any Leeds season from the last ten years. Yeah, I was gonna say if you've just picked Leeds, welcome to what it feels like for to be a fan for the last sixteen years. <laughs> yeah. If you've enjoyed this podcast, what the fuck yeah. is wrong with you? You sadistic <laughs> fuck. <laughs> You've got to be a glory supporter for uh, all of, what, 15 games, 15 <laughs> days or something. Yeah. Now you're know. back with the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's going to be able to be plastic, are they? Anyway, just fucking like our videos, comment and subscribe, or we'll fucking find you. Like the video, <laughs> or the badger gets it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Right. Thank you. That was it. Right. Very goodbye from me. Um, very goodbye from Ross. See ya. Very goodbye from Alex. Fuck off, Leeds. <laughs> fuck off. It was a top and tail show with fuck, fuck off, Leeds today. <laughs> Steve Evans. Steve Evans. Chill out. <laughs> right. Most of our stats come from LUFC Stats or LUFC Data on Twitter. You should probably give them a follow as they're more interesting than us. A very special thanks to Adam Warner, Barney Stewart, Cookie, Ewan and Howard Metcalf, Josh Pearson, Laura, Leon and Rob, The Light Show and all our family and friends. <laughs>